are with Emily Harvey at Harvey's Farm and Garden Center in Westboro, Massachusetts. So tell me about this new product line you've been carrying. Sure. Well, this past year in Atlanta, uh, we found Curly Girl Design, which the artist is based out of Belmont, Mass. And I just immediately fell in love with the product. It's got kind of a collaged, mixed media sort of feel. And being an artist myself and a, a young female was immediately attracted to it. Um, very interesting quotes and sayings, very inspirational and kind of whimsical. And, and are these uh, stationary or cards? or? Yep, there are some blank greeting cards, um, some gift magnets, mugs, and some thermoses, some water, water bottles. We have other items through different distributors, but we've just started working directly with the artist um, with some of the best sellers to give mm -hmm. it a try and have been very excited about how people have received it. Um, I see a lot of times women kind of stopping and reading and smiling and that just tells me right there it's a good fit. And when they bring the cards up and they're buying them, that tells me, okay, this is this is a good move. Um, something I'm very excited about and I get excited when people, you know, oh, they're coming up, oh, you love that saying too, that's one of my favorites. So <laughs> it, it kind of brings a personal connection um, with our customer and it's something that I think will probably grow into a larger display as, as time goes on. And just also accenting it with, with bright popular colors and bringing in a couple different things like the Leonis ladies um, and this other line, like the lavender filled sachets, kind of bring that whole look in together. Um, something a little different than the country, the traditional country look we, we have done in the past. Uh, tell me how you got into some of these food items. Sure. Well, we've been farmers on the sixth generation, so having a farm as kind of our, our first part of the business um, has been something that we've been in for generations. Um, adding the garden center and things like that. Well, a number of years ago we added our gems and jellies, which is a privately labeled line. Um, it's great because it's a lot of things that we grow here. So people love that it has our label on it, especially for gift giving. You know, they have someone um, who lives far away but was originally from this area and they can bring them some blueberry jam. Um, and then this year, we got into this other other privately labeled food line with different pickled um, vegetables and some fruit items like peachy peach halves and some different items that we weren't you know quite sure about if we should if we should make that step and we we tried the product down in Atlanta and fell in love with it I mean you can get a lot of different canned products but sometimes the quality isn't there the flavor isn't there um, you know it looks nice in the package but you wouldn't you wouldn't want to eat it and the price point isn't right so we found this this item and it's as you can see it's a beautiful product on the shelf and we learned from the owner of the company that having the you know the product turned a certain way definitely attracts the, the customer and a lot of times throughout the day we actually have to fix this because you can see people have been looking at it which is a great thing even if they don't purchase it that day you can tell they're kind of oh what's that that's something new um, and we have samples every day here and we have usually three or four different samples that circulate throughout the day so if they want to try something new and they're not quite sure do I really want to you know purchase some some of those mushrooms we have those for sampling and that gives them a try like, oh these are excellent and then they buy them they get hooked on that and mm -hmm. they buy you know something else the next time and it's been a great introduction to the line we were kind of unsure about bringing such a high volume into the store but it's it's definitely been a great fit for us and we know getting into these cooler months in New England people are thinking about food and, and preserving and um, you know getting things ready for the winters and gift giving so um, we're excited that it's been so well received um, especially over the summer months when we're traditionally quieter um, that you know we'll have a definitely a following for the fall and winter months so that's been something that we're we're happy to be carrying Emily it looks like you have a sweet tooth I do, and a lot of people do. Um, we we are now right in the what we call the sweet retreat, which is our uh, expanded candy corner. Um, it was something that years ago, uh, my dad, the owner, had been hesitant about introducing candy. He wanted to only have you know healthy, farm-grown options, then had a little bit of can penny candy, and then it kind of grew, and then it grew, and especially last year with the recession, um, finding that. You know, you might not indulge on some bigger ticket items, but 
you can always kind of you can always kind of justify spending a few dollars on yourself to kind of make yourself feel better buying a brownie or buying a chocolate bar or kettle corn something that just kind of gives you that instant gratification that okay things aren't so bad I've, I've you know I've got a little sugar in my system <laughs> so um, a couple years ago we added some of some bigger hutches here and really kind of built up not only nostalgic candies but also these novelty candies I've got to show you these really cool airplanes that are candy filled and kids of all ages love these they pick them up they press the button there's lights it's a fan it's you know very very exciting for them Jim just said uh, you just sold two of them yes yeah, they're they're ones <laughs> while we, the camera was rolling exactly we just we can't keep them keep them stocked um, so it was and all these other things. little gizmos too exactly like the, the, this is like a, a powder and you lick the paintbrush pop and dip it in the powder like fun dip um, candy filled soakers that once the gumballs are are all used hmm. they can fill it with water and That's squeeze cool. squeeze the water out on their neighbor yo mm -hmm. candy filled yo-yos oh pop rocks and i hear this a lot i hear oh i remember when you know when i grew up i you know did mikey dogs. die from eating pop rocks I don't. That's an old. I know there was a there's urban a legend. Urban legend with the um, diet coke or something like that. Yes. Diet coke and pop rocks, but you know having <clears throat> those things that are just tried and true classics, and also some of the the new, you know the Spider Man mm -hmm. and getting the Pez that have the you know Disney characters and we found that it's it's something for you know for all ages from the little ones that are just getting their first lollipop to. You know, seniors that say, I remember when, you know, I grew up because I haven't seen this for years. And I just, I love that feeling that you've brought that nostalgia back for them, um, that we, we can provide that, that happy feeling, mm -hmm. you know, visiting the animals, seeing the candy, um, you know, getting some extra treats. That's, that's a good thing for us. We, we enjoy seeing that. This is the uh, Harvey's Farm Mining Company cart. And I found this out at a souvenir show in Las Vegas at the Sands Convention Center. And I kept looking at it. We had been pretty successful selling uh, some gemstones, fossils, etc. in the past. And I kept going to the cart and digging in it. And I'd think about it and the price was too much so I'd walk away. And next thing I knew I'd be back in it digging through it again. And I thought, if this has this effect on me, it's probably going to have this effect on others. And it's really funny, people, adults come in here all the time saying, kids must love this. <laughs> but so do adults, and adults buy probably at least a third of the stone. Uh, we don't know what they do with them all, we don't care. But uh, I was told it came with enough stones that once we sold all the stones, and they're already pre-priced right here, chose the two size bags that once we sold all the stones, the fixture was paid for, and we owe the stones all the time. I don't know how many times we've been through mm -hmm. this. It's never been empty. We just keep adding to it. And how many years have you had this? I'd say around 12 years later. It's been very good. Uh, and what's the secret to... Uh... The secret is bright colors, but also natural stones. There's two different people that buy stones. Uh, some want certain stones because they know they have certain values, uh, such as a rose quartz, or any quartz intensifies any other stone. Um, so people that know they want the natural stones, they come from all over the world. Uh, but what sells best are the brightly colored stones uh, because they just attract your eye. 